All right, you've seen the first two videos. Here are five more, more things from the Stardew Valley 1.6 update you didn't know about. First up is the dehydrator. Now the dehydrator can be built using wood, clay, and fire quartz. And it's another type of artisan equipment like a mayonnaise machine or preserves jar. And then it dries out foods. If you pick the mushroom cave, you get a dehydrator for free. A dehydrator can make dried mushrooms using five of any positive energy mushroom, so the red mushrooms don't count, dried fruit from five of any fruit, or raisins from five grapes. This of course increases the sell price of the fruit or mushroom, though it does take a long time to age. And also I'm pretty sure if you put raisins in a Jumino hut, they can possibly double your crop harvest, or they might be faster, or something like that. Anyways, on to the next one. Now if you go to Willie's shop, you'll notice in the top right corner there's something new, a custom bomber machine. This custom bomber machine is super cool, because it allows you to change the look of your bobber. From the classic bobber, to a diamond, to a slime, to a smiley face. You can even pick a randomizer feature, which randomizes the different bobbers. So every time you cast, it'll be something different. Of course, these bobbers don't like increase your chance of catching fish, but they look super cool. Next up is the Trout Derby. The Trout Derby is an event in summer where you and a bunch of other NPCs fish for rainbow trout. Now, over the course of these two days, when you catch rainbow trout, they have a chance to drop a special golden tag when caught. These golden tags can be exchanged for prizes over at the Trout Derby counter. Some of these prizes include Triple Shot Espresso, Quality Sprinkler, Warp Totem Farm, Omni Geode, a bucket hat, crab pots, mystery boxes, diamonds, and eventually a mounted trout, which is a super cool new piece of indoor furniture. Now, similar to the Trout Derby is the Squid Fest, where you have to catch a bunch of squid. This time, however, there aren't any golden tags. All you need to do is catch a certain number of squid to get a certain number of rewards. All the way up to 8 squid in one day for the Iridium level of rewards. I'd recommend using the new Sonar Bobber, which lets you see what fish are on the line, and just keep casting and escaping until you get a squid. This makes things pretty easy. If you've caught a total of 8 squid in one day, you get the full set of rewards. Deluxe bait, mystery boxes, a dish of the sea, a pearl, some coffee, a squid kid painting, kind of like the mounted trout, and the art of crabbing, which is another skill book. Very useful if you have a lot of crab pots. Lastly, are the new giant crops. But first let me talk about one of the big new crops, the powder melon. This is one of the first proper winter crops that you can grow and make profit. Now you no longer have to wait until spring and summer and fall to grow crops during the winter that aren't, you know, winter forageables. Powder melons don't sell for as much as regular melons, but they still make a pretty good profit if you can get a lot of them. And of course, if you have a large patch of them, and they're fully grown, and you wait enough days, there's a chance for them to become a giant powder melon, which I was lucky enough to experience myself. Pretty nice. They give about the same amount as other giant crops, I think. This also probably makes for a great new decoration on your farm. There is of course also the new giant key fruit, but that's more difficult to get. So here's the picture. But yeah, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed and hopefully you didn't know about one of these things. As always, thank you for watching, and we're almost at 2,000 subscribers, so, you know, 30 of you guys, subscribe. Anyways, thanks, bye.